This is a tutorial video for over USB PID temperature controller, SYL153 series PID controller. This video will show you how to download, how to install, and how to use the communication software. Uh, to download the software, please go to the Ober website at first, oberinstall.com. Then, all the way to the bottom, and you will see the menu link on the left. Click the menu link. You, can, you will see a lot of uh, controllers and the menus there. Go down the screen a little bit, you can see the section for the USB controller. And then the last link will be the control software. And please download. The downloaded file is a zip file, and to use it, you need to unzip it at the first. There are three files inside, the installation file, the adapter driver, and also the readme. So if, you're, you're, if you are using Windows 10, then most likely you do not need to install the driver separately. However, if your computer cannot identify the USB adapter by itself, then uh, you need to install it separately. Okay, so here, uh, let's, let's start the installation. The display will automatically pop up. If you want to, if you want to open the software later, you can just double click the uh, short, shortcut on the desktop. Okay, so the default, the password is admin. Okay, the major function buttons are located on the top. You can see that there are like uh, four sections. The view section, the monitor and recording section, the data report section, the settings. Okay, so if it is your first time to use the PID, please click the auto select button at first. Then click the detect button. So this function will identify the PID so the software will know what type of controller you are using. It will take a while, and once completed, uh, click the Apply button here. Now you can see that the controller showed the number from the PID already. Yeah. Uh, let's explain the functions for the monitor and the recording. So if your, if your monitor is on, you can see the readings on the panel view. But if you turn off the monitor, it will show timeout or it just show like a dash, kind of dash. Let's start the monitoring and then turn on the recording. Recording is used for record the current uh, information like a PV, like SV, like a te current reading temperature, current same temperature in the file. And you can use it for the future report and or you can just export, import in the future, something like that. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about the views. This software has three views, the panel view, tab view, and the graphic view. The panel view is to look like this. Okay, it's very similar like the real PID you are using. It also has a, like a two-line display, one reading temperature, one set temperature. It will show the output status, and also it has two indicators for the alarm, alarm one and alarm two. It showed the address for the PID. So right now the PID address is the address one, channel one, which is for the communication. Yeah. To change the settings, just press the set button, just like the physical set button on your controller. Press it once, and then you can see all the settings here, like the RAM settings and also the PID settings. To change it, just press this OK button. OK, now the tab view. The tab view is very useful when you have more than one PIDs or if you want to change more than one settings at the same time. So if you have uh, more than one PIDs, it will show us here. Right now, because only one PID is, uh, is connected, so there is just blank one number. For the settings, uh, if you want to change more than one settings at one time, you can right click the number and click the parameter settings. Then it will pop up our table with all the settings here. To show the parameters in the controller right now, press the refresh key and you will see that current P value in the controller is zero. Okay. And if you want to change it to 10 or some other numbers, you can change it right here and then press the change button. Then, yeah, the number 10 will be loaded to the PID. That's how it works. Okay, and then now for the graph view. Okay, the graph view will show the chart from your, from your controller, from your PID. It has two lines. One is your SV, one is your PV. 
okay so the yellow one will be your pv which is your reading temperature your sensor temperature the blue line will be your set temperature or your sv you can select to to show the numbers and also you can select to change the resolution by default the resolution is one second per point okay so next is uh, let's talking about the report and the data output feature so to use the report feature you need to record data before yeah if there is no record then there will be no data for the report and to use it you need to choose your PID module at the first and also ch check the address and the channel for the PID the attached PID is channel 1 address 1 and make sure of that select the time range like this okay I just uh, turn the recording for a couple of minutes so the data will be very limited yeah there are, right now you can see there are like a four line data and you can see either in vertical or in horizontal you can also export as a CSV file so you can use your uh, Excel to process it okay and also you can export as a PDF file something like this okay so if you are using a RAM pencil model like the 15.3.14.2p or 15.3.15.2p then there will be a button show up the program button okay you can see the profiles on the left left click it and you can see the data yeah you can see the every uh, every step step one step two step two three here okay so to change it to change the profile you can right click and choose edit then you can just change the numbers as you like and press for example I change the 10 to 20 and press the save to confirm it okay so now the the profile the project has been updated but it has not been sent to your PID to send it to your PID right click and choose send to the meter and choose the address from your PID uh, you remember that the PID address and the channel will be one and one so click here yeah you will automatically send all the all the information all the settings to the PID once finished it will show success okay if you want to create a new project press the button here and you can give give it a different name like a new project 2 and you can change anything you want like here for how to program this PID please check its manual okay so you can see there are like a two project here so if you want to use a different project to the PID just send it to the meter like I did before so okay that's all if you have any questions or comments please let us know please leave your question in the comment below thanks for watching have a good day